From Today FM Ireland, this is the Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show podcast. We did have Stan on the line there a couple of minutes though. Uh, Stan, are you there? Are you still there? Well, I wish people would stop asking me that question. But it's a bit oh. early for that, but no, no, sorry, to be I was fair, ta- we'd carry on. No, sorry, I was, I, was ta- I, was, I was saying, are you still on the phone? I was talking about the phone. Not, not well, are you still there in the job? If you were talking about the phone, you're well within your rights. Right. But of course, I'm here. Yeah. So. Right. So, Stan, what can you say after last night? Well, these things happen. The first goal, the boy Stelios uh, jumps in the air. There's a ball flying around. Somehow it hits the boy in the head and ends up in the back of the net. Right. One in a million chance. You can't legislate for that. Hmm. To be fair, hmm. Stan, what went wrong this time? Do, do you think? Well, the tackling wasn't great, and the passing was a bit off, and our defence was a bit shaky. And up front, well, nothing happened for us. But apart from that, I thought we did quite well. Right. Okay. Uh, just stay on the line there, will you, for a sec? Uh, Roy, right. Keane, Roy Keane was actually watching the match at home last night. Hi, Roy. Good morning. Oh. Uh, Roy, your comments? Well, it's rarely I intervene in these situations. But today, I think intervention is necessary. Okay. Now, credit to Dunphy, as he said it last night, these poor boys, they're little more than babies out there. They had families watching this game. Families, Ian. Brothers and sisters. Uncles and aunts. And not only families, Ian. Not only families and extended families. Pets. 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 Domestic pets watching that game. People with dogs and cats and budgies and hamsters and goldfish. These animals never forget things like that. They never forget an experience like that. Okay, the goldfish, to be fair, probably doesn't remember the San Marino fiasco. (laughs) But you can't just presume that everybody has a goldfish. You can't presume that people have a goldfish. My dog! My dog! Watch that game last night from behind her paws. Really? From behind her paws. The last time that happened was when the lyrics board used to be on, Ian. Really? When the referee blew up. When the referee blew up, she ended up flinging her bone at the screen. Her bone! The screen! My dog! Stan? The dogs within its rights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so actually, sorry, sorry for uh, cutting in there. Somebody is on the line. It's Dave O'Leary. I'm told. Uh, note hand it to me here. Uh, Dave, blast from the past. Long time no here, Dave. No, no. I, I know it's a, it's a long time. But I, I say, uh, I heard you talking about babies there. I just like to say, I have experience with babies. Worked well with babies in the past, so as I say, oh, I'm currently on the periphery, so uh, you know, just listening in the car. So, D- D- David, is this a job application? No, 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 no. As I say, I was, I was in the car, driving up and down, and I heard the word babies. Huh? I acted. It's a sport of the moment thing. Yeah, There's nothing more to be said. So it's not a no. job. It's not. You're not looking no, for a job. No, 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 no. Do you no. think you'd be any good at the job? No, 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 no. no. But no. if there's babies, then yeah. you know. Well, um, let's, see, let's see if there's a vacancy. Uh, Stan, can you carry on at this stage? Well, we'll wait and see what happens. Oh. I've still got a lot of support. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, support from who? Who have you got support from? Well, there's emails. Right. They are this morning. Yeah. In my inbox. Right. John Delaney okay. sent me on a forward there. I and he said, put it in perspective. Okay. Uh, can you tell us what... Is this a note, a note that you got from John Delaney? Well, it's a forward. A forward? From Mr. Delaney there. Okay. Uh, oh, can you tell us, what, tell us what it says? Well, it says... This is a forward, Stan. I thought you'd appreciate this. Right. When you have an I hate my job day... An I hate my job day. That's right. Okay. Try this. Yeah. On your way home from work, there, stop at your pharmacy go to the thermometer section <laughs> and purchase a rectal thermometer. A rectal thermometer? Made by Johnson & Johnson. Okay. Um, when you get home, 
lock your doors, draw the curtains, disconnect the phone so you'll not be disturbed, change into very comfortable pyjamas, sit in your favourite chair, and carefully open the package and remove the thermometer. Now carefully place it on a table or a surface so that it'll not become chipped or broken. Okay. Now the fun part begins. Oh, great. Take out the literature, and read it carefully. You will notice in small print there is a statement. Every rectal thermometer <laughs> made by Johnson & Johnson is personally tested. Now close your eyes and repeat out loud. I am so thankful. I do not walk for quality control there <laughs> at Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> so, there's worse jobs there. From Today FM Ireland, this is the Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show podcast.